there are some pretty wild new vocations being introduced in Dragon Dogma 2, offering such a variety of disciplined playstyles, mixing in some elements we've never seen before. The Trickster offering a crazy new, completely refreshing way to play Dragon's Dogma. And we also have the addition of the Mystic Spear Hand. Now, what if you could get the Mystic Spear Hand vocation and one of the best early game strongest OP nuts weapon all at the same time. Well, this little nugget leaves us with the opportunity to do such a thing. Getting this weapon early is going to allow you pretty much to hang on to it for a very long time, saving you plenty of coin. You only have to focus on upgrading some of the armor. And for those of you that did miss this opportunity to get it early, we'll look at some of the other places where you can get it later on in the game. Now do note there are going to be some spoilers just in order to give enough information. So it's a bit easier to follow, especially if you're new. And we're going to jump in and do a deep dive on how to get the mystic spear hand vocation and this amazing weapon you really shouldn't miss out you can get it extremely early technically at level one if you really wanted to if you follow these steps you should have enough information to be able to nail this so yeah let's get into it now this weapon is called the dead ringer it's a formidable weapon in the game it's known for its impressive like almost 650 to 700 base damage just at the start enhancing this probably gets this to about 800 it's super potent it'll be hard stretched to find a better weapon this early in the game period it's an absolute monster there is a few different tricks to it but let's take a look okay so the setup for this so there's a few things we need to do or tick boxes before we can proceed with this in the best manner now the end objective is going to Melvive, but we need to do it a certain way in order to trigger this event there's a few different ways you can go about it but primarily it stays roughly the same just some of the timing could be different depending on how far you progressed now there will be perhaps a good portion of you that have missed this opportunity opportunity but it's good to know for when you go into next game we will look at some of the other places you can get it but for starters the main quest line will take you from Melvive to Vernworth now just to give you a bit more of an idea of that setup so you'll be following the main quest line when you begin it'll take you you most likely end up at Melv and you'll get a mission with Gregor it's the mission called in Dragon's Wake and you'll be accompanying Gregor to the capital so this mission this is the one that will take you to the capital so you'll just need to follow this along and you will be guarding this uh, cart and you can accompany them to the capital and then you'll get this little cutscene if it's your first time to Venworth and the important part of all all this is that you will be greeted by this dude this guy is going to give you a bit of a hard time but we won't go into any more than this just to avoid some of the spoilers and what we'll do is we'll need to head over to the bar which you'll see in the main city you probably know it already you'll find it just in the corner here and the symbol on your map icon is of course for frothy beer so you'll have to get here and depending on your time you may need to talk to the shopkeeper and select pass the time to wait till night time otherwise if you've come at the correct time you'll notice that the guy that greeted you at the gate now you can shout him a beer because he's going to be a champion it's going to help you a lot so he's a big guy but this is the dude that we'll need to speak to at night and he's going to give us an important mission now the mission we want to try to do is tell me of the monster culling now from my understanding i believe this is a mission you'll want to do i haven't tested to see if you could do one of the other missions you might just need to do one of any of these missions to then trigger the next part of this and some have done this in slightly different orders so so if you have done a few different ones don't worry there's still a good chance you might be able to get it so after talking to him he's going to put you on a mission called the monster culling that's going to send you on to a few different locations sort of a run around so after doing the monster culling you will have to return and it'll be the same steps as before you'll have to head back to the bar you'll have to talk to the bar wait or waste some time around town in order to get the right time it's pretty much night time that you need to meet him and that will conclude the mission so now that you've completed the monster cull quest we're right to go to the next part so the next part we want to head over to the north venwell ox card station this will be the same entry that you came through from melv and what we need to do is two things okay the first one is super important you need to head to the inn to save your game this is an absolute critical step because depending on how you perform you can miss this this is a missable item at the start you can purchase it later but if you're really keen to get this you have to do this step but 100 make sure that you do a save at an inn in the city before you venture out absolute must because depending on how you do it and this is not the only way you can do it but if you say this happens and the dragon flies off you're boned you're not going to get the weapon but yeah make sure you do save just driving that home because if you miss that kind of messes everything up so going back to the ox cart we want to find and talk to this gentleman here he stands out quite a bit he's got a reddish tunic on and this gentleman is going to give you the ox cart courier and you're going to find this guy at the same place where you meet the ox cart so you can't miss him he's at the front there you'll just have to talk to him and he'll set you on this mission
Now, depending on your timing, you may do this quest and also trigger the next quest all at the same time. Or you may do this quest and then go to Melv. You won't see the quest that we're about to talk about, which is okay, because that's what happened for me. I arrived at Melv and there was no dragon landing. So this might be the same case for you. So the important thing to note that if you do come to Melv and you don't see this dragon and you've never seen this dragon in Melv, then there's a good chance you're in luck and we'll be able to trigger it. I went and completed the ox cart courier mission and then did a bunch of stuff and then took the ox cart back and that's what triggered it for me. Now alternatively, all you need to do is just check into Melvive here and there if you haven't triggered the dragon quest. So if you haven't seen it, there's a good chance you'll still be able to trigger it. Alternatively, you could be doing the ox cart courier and upon arrival, you would run into the dragon itself. Key thing is here, this is the mission we're trying to trigger is arriving to Melv and there's a dragon just to drive that home. Because ultimately, what we're looking for is to be able to jump on to this card and it's going to take us to Melv and by doing so upon arriving it will also trigger another quest and in this case it's running into a dragon that's sort of diseased deranged and this is the key to this whole unlocking the mystic spear hand vocation and getting the dead ringer this weapon is crazy absolute nuts for an early game weapon so going back to the ox cart so we've saved our game and we're on our way to mel now you can do the snooze so when you rock up you'll see people running away and that's a giveaway sign that you're in the perfect time to do this dragon quest now there's a few different ways you can do this to achieve the same objective of receiving the dead ringer we'll go through the various options that you have and we're going to start off with probably the worst option which is going Going up to the tower and using the crossbow at least in my opinion i tried this six times trying to do it this method maybe i'm just a big fat noob but i could not get it in time so if you have better luck you can try this method and that's why the save so important now i suggest you don't go up the ladder i suggest you just run up the tower because what you need is you need to get your pawns to help you move this catapult at the top of this roof here this ballista sorry so this will be crucial to get your pawns up there quick smart to help with the timing but if you don't you sit up here wasting countless seconds while your pawns just sort of fumble around try get upstairs who knows what they're doing but you need two of them to be able to push and turn this in order to kill the dragon so we'll just do a little bit of a demonstration here you can see how slow it turns so we've lost so much time trying to do this so this might not be the best method but again if you are very low level this is going to be potentially your best option we all do a lot of damage but there are a few other tricks you can try so we'll have to see here i've sort of stopped moving because my pawns have stopped my pawns have stopped moving so it's all a bit of a mess and then they start again very very slow dragon flies off oh no what am i going to do well luckily i've saved so i will return to the main menu from the main menu i go load from last in rest that's crucial we're loading from the last in rest this means we can complete this process as many times as we want until we get the desired results one interesting thing to note so with this save i had a uh, creature spawn in this city and what was interesting is that each time i loaded up there was a chance of rolling a different creature within the same save so so something to note you can get different creatures and it's kind of a random happening or event they'll just spawn inside the town anyway i'm back here again and i'm just going to quickly show you i'm up here once again trying to get the ballista into its position and it's very slow again so trying to highlight the method that i tried so the aim here is you're trying to hit the dragon now i believe you need to hit it two to three times now this shouldn't be dependent on level or skill or anything like that it should just be dependent pure on how you hit the dragon and the idea here is to hit it when it's up in the air the two times but you can also just fire it on the ground it doesn't have to be in the air critical thing is is trying to get the shots off quick enough in order for it to not fly away so it's a bit of a time game so you could be firing right now and that's what you should be doing you should try hit it quickly and hard because it takes a long time to charge these up and the dragon will fly away regardless if all the things get burst on it or not bit of a time game so here we go this in this shot i actually hit it quite hard but again it's just the timing and i don't do enough damage and he ends up flying off in the end which means i'm gonna have to repeat the same process again so we're going to exit without saving and we're going to go start game we're going to go into load from last in and repeat that process until you get it we're going to look at the second way you can do this now the second way is just dealing enough damage or trying to hit all the sacks on the dragon 
as quickly as possible. Now this will leave a chance of the drop or the dead ringer to occur. Now keep in mind your pawns may pick it up so check your pawns if you don't get it but just doing it this way you do not have to kill the dragon you just need to hit the sacks particularly get a lot of damage on the wings as well apparently that helps this will also lead to the drop of the dead ringer so keep that in mind you do not have to kill the dragon you just have to do some damage hit the pus parts those blister things and some people have noted that hitting the wings can lead it to dropping now the potency of this will depend on what class you are being the uh what's it called being the archer means i had some pluses and minuses but overall if it doesn't work the first few times just keep trying it should drop just go back to your save just like we've done with the other process now the third option is one for someone who might be more progressed in the game like i was i'm level 40 in this i spent a lot of time doing other stuff come back to this so it's a pretty good way you can't shouldn't really miss this but if you have spent a lot of time doing other stuff and you come to melv and you're in this scenario then you can opt in for just destroying or killing dragon as well the drake i mean this is another really good option and this will assure that you get the drop regardless you just have to make sure that you kill it in time now in this i'm using the explosive arrows which will require you unlocking the exploding shot skill for your archer as well as purchasing exploding arrows but you definitely don't have to do that that's just what i did it was me just testing the exploding shots out because i hadn't tested them before do note i tried this once before and i didn't succeed because i wasn't focusing on the actual pus bits or the blisters on the dragon drake i mean so keep that in mind however on the second attempt i was able to get it the good thing about being able to kill this dragon is you actually get a really powerful special attack but we'll talk about that at the end because that's why this could be one of the best options is killing the drake whether you use the first method or just this method of just going for it and killing it so here you can see me i'm targeting the wings because i've been reading some people on reddit mentioning that uh, hitting the wings is probably the way to get the drop don't know if that's the truth of it or not but uh, then in the end i just ended up trying to hit the big old blisters and that seemed to work very very well now i was lucky because i was fortunate enough to have these exploding arrows which made this whole process a lot easier the good thing about doing it this method as well if you're able to is that since you're attacking from the get-go you have quite a bit of time and the key thing here is you're really trying to unknock it unconscious uh as soon as possible or freeze it or whatever other methods you might be able to use not entirely sure if you can freeze dragons but uh, that's just something to consider as well and with the combination of the town and me attacking it i'm only level 40 so that's quite uh low for tackling drakes in my mind they're super crazy but you can do it just depends on how you set it up but you can see here we're starting to focus more on those blisters the dragon kind of gets stuck on this rock formation which helps too but uh, you have noticed that he hasn't been able to fly away and this is the critical part here so he's been knocked unconscious and now we can just start delivering some serious damage now these explosion arrows they punish on this part as they do good um area of effect damage and while the dragon's knocked out a drake i mean you will do tons and tons of damage so that's another good way to do it just get him knocked out and there you go it'd be bing bada boom he's gone and this is the part so now we've got the drake down and it's just a matter of going through this cutscene and note this is the guy where we get the mystic spear hand vocation from and that's why this mission is so insane because you can get one of the best weapons for the vocation as if they just wanted us to have a mad time with it as well as get the vocation so pretty cool so after that cutscene and the dialogue finishes just head over to the drake and recover all the gear on the right hand here we have the dead ringer so after you collect all the items we want to head over and talk to sigard which is the guy who's going to give us the vocation for the mystic spear hand so we'd go ask about his technique and then he's going to tell us and he's also going to reward us with a very special item which is the paladin's enigmata i haven't used this yet but apparently it's freaking awesome this is something you can teach yourself and your pawn basically adding a new skill that you wouldn't unlock naturally and you can see also we got the unlocked spear hand so a very crazy crazy mission if you miss this early it's a bit of a bummer but you can also still get the mystic spear hand at a later stage you don't need to do it this way but the very best scenario is by far trying to do it this way killing the dragon getting the spear vocation and also getting that special technique now if you missed out and you do want to purchase the dead ringer you can purchase it from these shops so there's a few different options here here. you can pause it have a look i haven't found all these areas but uh, there's quite a good few options here and just to give you an idea of the difference so you have the initiates blade so that's the one you'll start off when you first choose to use the mystic spear hand vocation pretty high damage not too bad but then there's the dead ringer which is 653 on the strength 529 on the magic now that is a huge jump start on your damage 
Now, keep in mind, you can go to a shop and enhance it further to do tons more damage. So I haven't been able to max it out yet, but this just gives you an idea. Now, the important thing to note is when you go to enhance certain weapons, you will have an option to go to different stores, provide different things to upgrade. Now, keep in mind, the first initial enhance is always just costing coin. But then when you do want to enhance it, we're going to need specific required materials. Now, note in this shop, it requires dark scale. I don't have dark scale, so let's go try a different shop. You can see here at this shop, I actually have the required materials for bolt scale. So luckily enough, I can upgrade it at this shop. But keep in mind, when you are running around to different towns and different shops, do check the enhance and see if you can actually enhance the weapons that you're after. Pretty handy tip. So that's going to conclude the tutorial. Now remember, you do have three options. And if you are very low level, stick to the using the ballista to take out the Drake. That's probably your best bet. It does work. There's plenty of people doing it right now. So you can give that a shot. It just might take a fair few goes to get used to it. Just make sure you fire at it as much as possible. But yeah, that concludes everything. Thanks very much. And I'll catch you next time. Stick around for the next tutorials. If you get anything out of this, please consider liking and subscribing. Peace.